Why do we do street photography? Isn't it weird to take photos of strangers and don't even ask for permission? Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video I want to give you my perspective on why I think it's a good idea to do street photography and especially when you are shy or an introvert. There are probably a million reasons why people love to shoot street. Some may do it because at the moment it's very cool and hip and trendy, that's fine. I've heard that some people are specifically shooting street to participate in contests. Nothing I would do, but hey, why not? In fact, as far as I am aware of, uh, I've never participated in a street photography competition. I thought about it, but for whatever reason, I've never done it. When I look back, I was a rather shy person and to some degree you could say that I was more socially awkward. For me, it was tough to approach strangers in general and not just when it comes to photography. Practicing street photography for such a long time, I can clearly see now that that had a big influence on me and changed my life forever. Most of the time when I go out shooting, I'm only by myself. And the same is true when I'm traveling. The good thing about this is that it helps me to focus and it forces me to interact with strangers. While I'm shooting, it happens that people start talking to me, not necessarily because they are angry about having their photo taken, but more often because they're curious about what I'm doing or about the camera that I'm using because for some reason they like it. Especially if I'm using a Leica camera, I get so many comments about the camera and sometimes even from, from people that have no idea what it is because they just think it looks cool. And the thing is that all these small interactions that helped me to open up more and since then I was able to approach strangers and ask them if I can take their portrait for instance. I don't do this very often but sometimes it happens and it's not a problem anymore. Before we continue a quick reminder that you can now pre-order my new X-Pen zine. Um, you can pre-order until June 28th and if you do so you will save up to 50% on shipping. Shipping will start in the beginning of July and if you're interested the link will be in the description box down below. Another benefit of doing street photography is the fact when you're doing this on a regular basis you are covering a lot of ground and it becomes some sort of exercise. To give you an idea, on, t on a typical day of shooting I usually walk between 10 to 20 kilometers but occasionally it can also be well above 20 kilometers. For instance, when I was in Cairo I had this crazy idea to walk to the pyramids. On my way back I wanted to take a bus or a taxi but traffic was so bad that I decided to rather walk and on that day I covered 38 kilometers which isn't far off a full marathon. Even for my standards that sounds a little bit too crazy but on that day it wasn't a problem at all. On top of that, street photography helped me to connect with so many people and make so many new friends all over the world. It is also something that I wasn't expecting when I was starting out but over the years I've met so many great photographers and some of them became good friends. This wasn't planned, it simply just happened. You know, when you bump into another street photographer you have already a connection through your shared passion. Sometimes it feels so unreal when you meet the same photographer months later in a completely country or even continent. Even if you're not traveling that much, you can still meet like-minded photographers through social media apps all the time. This is one of my favorite aspects of shooting street and it opened up so many new opportunities for me. You see, these reasons are absolutely not about the images you get while roaming the streets. It just goes to show that doing street photography can benefit you in all sorts of ways and it doesn't necessarily have to be about capturing the greatest pictures ever. Now I want to know from you what are your top 3 reasons to get out and uh, practice street photography. Please let me know in the comments down below and alright guys that's it for today's video. Don't forget to pre-order the zine if you're interested and I hope to see you again tomorrow in the next video. Until then, auf Wiedersehen!